in this content we are going to run DeepSeq model, one of the latest DeepSeq model on this hardware, small credit card sized hardware that you can run in your home and you can access from your phone, from your laptop or you can just write like a layers, like a speech to text application to talk with it. It is so simple, it is quite fast and you don't need to pay anything for it. As long as you have this kind of hardwares with you, then you have no idea what you can do. Then, then it is easy to talk with the AI model and it's, you know, like a AI assistant for your daily life. You don't have to pay something. You don't have to pay subscription for other kind of models. It is totally free. And it is, as, you know, like it is, it is, you don't have to worry about the security. So it is isolated. It is at your home, in your local area, in your home network. So you don't worry about the security also. It is free model. You can install it. Simply you can use it with the Llama framework. We are going to play with the Llama framework either. I'm going to show you how you can build it. It's so simple. Then we are going to play with a little bit with the model. Have fun. We are going to build Llama framework from scratch to use the CUDA and the GPU. I mean, we are going to enable the CUDA during the compilation. There are a couple of dependencies that you need to install before. So I'm going now, I am on Jetson or in NX, you know, the Jetpack 6.1, the version I have. But uh, it doesn't matter really. So if you have latest one of the Jetson and Ubuntu, Jets Jetpack and Ubuntu, and if you enable uh, all of the CUDA related uh, the dependencies while doing the you know, flashing from the SDK manager, then things will work for you, I hope. <laughs> so there's simply like a, a couple of dependencies, like a git cmake, python3 pip that I did before. You need to install Hugging Face Hub. This tool will give you, you know, the ability to install the model easily that I installed before. Later, simply clone the repository. When cloning ends, just enter the directory. We can use a CMake. Simply, we can create like a build directory and go out there, the build directory. So we are going to use GPU, right? We can run this model on CPU itself. It's around like a four, five gigabyte, the model the size. But the point is GPU is faster for the you know, parallel processing. So the eight, the, I have eight gigabyte RAM here with the Jetson or in an X board. So eight gigabyte RAM is not enough for these things. It can run the model, but it cannot do something else. So you can load the model to GPU, the idea. That's why we are going to build this Llama with the GPU support. And you can run like a web server in this device to talk with the model. So even if you can like, you can be in another, uh, as long as you are in the same network with your phone, for example, you can access this web server and talk with the device, the talk with the model. You can like uh, create a speech to text layer also. CPU can handle this speech to text part and it converts, you know, it can convert the speech to text and send the text to the model and get the answer back and convert to speech again to you. So. Running the model on GPU is a good idea. And uh, the, gear, the flag is important here. Llama on. Then is it. CUDA toolkit found, so it's good. It found the, also the architecture, CUDA architecture. This is the version that CUDA I have. So I can also prove that the version is 12.6, it's good. So then simply you can run the make. This will take some time. I did it before, that's why I just, I, I'm not going to run it again. But it's quite fast still as you see. So I can stop it. After the make has finished, there will be a, you know, like a model directory. If, if it does not exist, you can create one. And you can, using the Hugging Face Client tool, you are going to download the DeepSeq model, which is here, the block DeepSeq LLM. This is the quantization that I'm, the, the one that I'm going to use it now. So this is the model. So then th this will install, if you are in the model directory, models directory here, local directory, it install the model here. This is around 4.22 gigabyte, so it will take some time. 
right? I'm not going to do this again now here. Later, you can run the model. But the, as you see that here, we are going to use different, uh, like a 7B. So this means, so this is the, the page for the DeepSeq, right? So there are different quantizations. So architecture is Lama. This is why we are going to use Lama framework. And we are going to use Q4 key S. So this is a four bit quantization now. So you can use, I mean, this is the best model for us because Orion NX has a limited VRAM on GPU. So this is the better option for us now, but you can try the other things too. So the quantization means like they are, so if you use like a four bit quantization, you know, like a, this speed up, this will speed up the inference. So you can have faster response and with a low memory. Of course, the precision will, can be a little bit of a problem, but for our case now, it is okay. This is why I just download this model. This is the reason. So now we can run it now. So after building the Llama, you have build directory, right? We were there before. And here in the bin, then there is the tool for server and for client. Server is not, as I tried, is not working for the DeepSeq for now. DeepSeq is not supported for the server application. Server is like a web server, so you can interact with the model from the web. But now we can use the client tool, you know, like a, to interact with the model via the command line from a terminal. So it, uh, that you can simply run bin llama client, then you need to load the model, just giving the path models, deep seek, this one seven B, okay, four bit quantization. And this should be interactive, interactive. We are going to use GPU. So GPU we can give the all layers as much as possible. This can be done like this, like a, 990 and I want to use tokens that like as much as possible to remember the previous the like uh, the conversations to do that we need to give minus C 2048 2048 tokens this should be GPU layers not layer now it load the model as you see the CUDA is used for the layers so CUDA is used as you see here there are a couple of you know like the features parameters that you can read it's the current uh, configuration for the model now so this is ready the deep seek is ready to play with it and like we can ask uh, who are you like some stupid questions to bother the deep seek. And harmless, okay. So we can ask uh, mathematical questions like uh, what is the result of like, I don't know, what is the X, what is the X. So it's going to explain also the equation So everything is running on a simple, you know, hardware now here. It's an isolated environment. So you can ask like language questions like how to say, how are you in German? in Dutch so it remembers also the previous conversation in Turkish I don't know in German is it correct or not but in, in, in Dutch is correct also in, in Turkish it's correct let's play with like a, um, ask a questions that why like a like um, daily questions like a political questions let's see what will happen why Elon Musk 
wants to go to Mars. It gives the quite uh, nice answers, like uh, up to date. And if you check, like for example, if you monitor the hardware right now, like a CPU usage, memory usage, it's quite good. You know, like I have also like a VNC is running. The CPU is still free. It's not bad. So why, um, what is it, Trump? wants to invade okay Trump wants Canada this is not okay available do you have access to internet So as I saw on the internet, DeepSeek don't answer about, you know, like uh, questions about the China. So let's try here. Can you explain the T, uh, I don't know how to write this. I need to check Tiananmen incident. Yeah, some questions are not logical for him. <laughs> Do you like China or America? Let's, let's ask, let's continue to ask stupid questions. When people, when AI control will control humanity. It gives a logical answers like so you can play with it so it's the uh, as you see the answer is long you know like it's like a long text it's not bad i forgot how to cook rice and chicken can you help me <laughs> so this is you know interaction inference like from like a from a terminal but you can now right now web uh, server web server is not supported by the llama but uh, you know you can run you can create a simple uh, web server to communicate with it that's why i just want to show you that uh, the possibility that you can run this kind of models at home and without paying like a subscription for other like uh, models that you, you are using you know in your daily life it's quite easy, simple. If you have, this is like, this is all in NX. But if you have uh, most, like, a, if you have more powerful 
if you have more powerful hardware, a little bit powerful hardware, then you can have a better results. Believe me, you have no idea. You can have a better results. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can create a web server and a web interaction web interface to use DeepSeek at home on the Jetson LX. Then see you again.